Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Today we're going to be doing a product and company review of Green Stuff World. Specifically today we're going to be taking a look at their new chrome metal uh, for airbrushing and they also make this bottle for uh, just brush painting. Now uh, this product is new to me. I usually use Molotov and specifically I kind of favor all clad, but I've heard from many of you guys that I'm really going to like this stuff. I'm eager to give it a shot, so stick around. We'll take a look. Hey guys, did a little bit of homework on Green Stuff World. I went to greenstuffworld.com and I encourage you to go check them out because you're going to find some really cool stuff there. They're located in San Juan Alicante, Spain. Uh, best I could tell from the website, they were founded, or at least the website was, in 2016. They are hooked up with PayPal and you can pretty much find also their entire line on eBay. I looked for a U.S. distributor, but I wasn't able to find one. If, if anybody knows of one, please put it in the comments uh, so we can share that with each other. Uh, as far as their paint line goes, most of it is acrylic. And uh, there are several that, like the chrome and the brushable chrome and the uh, airbrush chrome, are alcohol-based. And they come, let's say you have chameleon colors, which I think, I want to say there was about a dozen, maybe more, uh, in their chameleon colors, which are basically color shifts. And there's some really cool looking stuff in there. Also, they had glow pigments, which was eight uh, glow, uh, I guess glow in the dark or glow type colors. And as you notice here on the bottom, you see the hand with the... Uh, almost like infinity stone colors along the knuckles, and I thought of Thanos when I saw that, if you're familiar with uh, uh, the Avengers movies. and uh, But I thought that was a kind of nifty little way to show those off. Uh, also, they have uh, candy. It's called Candy Ink, but it's candy paints, basically. They, uh, there's demos, by the way, on about all of their products on uh, YouTube, and how to use them and it's really some cool stuff but the uh, candy colors you can put over uh, they show putting it over uh, like a gray or a a silver base and I'm gonna use some of the chrome that I have here that we'll be testing shortly and I'm gonna try some of their candy ink like I did the on the 64 32 Ford you remember I did that in the all clad chrome and went back with the um, ruby kind of transparent ruby red candy color and uh, I want to see how that that looks with uh, their brand. The other thing they had was a lot of diorama stuff. Um, they have something that looks like a rolling pin kind of, and you can do a, just a ton of different rock surfaces and blocks and bricks. Just a lot of stuff. Scenes. They also have uh, in these rollers. Egyptian hieroglyphics, uh, just a bunch of different scene type stuff, uh, really good uh, diorama stuff. They also have something called Spider Serum, and I watched a couple of the demos uh, on YouTube that they did of that, and it's just a liquid that you put in the airbrush, and if I remember correctly, um, depending on the air pressure, you can make cobwebs and spider webs all over a diorama with this stuff and it really was cool um, i enjoyed watching that a lot um also under their diy steampunk you're gonna find a ton of unusual and really really cool tools and i am a tool fanatic I've already made a list of about four things that I'm I just going to have to have. Uh, they also carry clays and putties for uh, dioramas and things like that, too. And a lot of this stuff seemed to be geared toward gaming and other stuff like that. But to give you an idea on some of the paints, they had Starship Gray that you see here. And you have several different shades there. And they also had, and I love this one, Yoda Green, <laughs> which I thought was really, really cool. But anyway, they have the tools, the clays, the putties, and they've got watch parts. 
So you, if you want to do a steampunk, and there's all kinds of cogs and gears and all that stuff in different, uh, basically they're watch parts, but different shapes and configurations, and uh, it's just really some cool stuff. But um, go over there, greenstuffworld.com. Check them out. Look at them on eBay if you want to. Um, but I think it, it'll be worth your time. It's really cool stuff. And I'll be uh, checking in, like I said, on some of the candy colors and um, maybe some of those chameleon color shifts as well. Uh, well, okay, guys. Let's see how their chrome does. Okay, guys. So we're going to test out the uh, airbrush chrome metal and see how it does. And I'm going to just use it straight out of the bottle. And I'm going to be shooting this at about, I guess, 12, 15 pounds uh, air pressure and we'll see now what I've done is I've heard that this can go over bare plastic so we're gonna I got a couple of parts here um, just and we're gonna try these and just see how it does but it says on the bottle best over gloss black like all clad and some of the other chrome finishes and real chrome does the same thing and these are some uh, headlight buckets that I've done in gloss black for uh, a 25 Ford and I've also done a 64 Galaxy bumper. And you'll notice here that I've done a really high gloss black on the bumpers. And the grill is toned down just a touch. I didn't do it quite as glossy as the bumper because I want it to have that aluminum look. And if you remember from the Fab Shop Pontiac and my video on metal finishes, the background will give you you'll yield a little bit different effect. And that's what I want to try with this. See if I can get that kind of polished aluminum look uh, like I do with the all clad um, in the grill area and then the, the high chrome look on the bumper itself. So we're going to give that a shot too and try it out. Well, let's get over to the paint booth and we'll give this puppy a try. Okay, guys, so here's uh, the results after a little drying time. As you can see, there's uh, a good sheen on it. On bare plastic, because it's not a high gloss, it looks more like a polished aluminum. But I'm really kind of impressed with this over just bare plastic. And this was just something right off the sprue. I didn't clean it up, mold lines or anything. Just, just something to shoot it on. But it yields a good uh, reflective uh, metallic finish. And then the piece that had some gloss, it was a clear plastic, or excuse me, just regular white plastic, but it had a gloss to it. And you see the result there with the gloss. So you got a good glossy chrome kind of finish on the dome there of the light, spotlight. Uh, not bad, not bad. And then the uh, buckets, the headlight buckets for the 25 Ford, and as you saw in the paint booth where the light was a lot brighter, we got a really good uh, good chrome finish, really rich. And I did this in super light coats and just built it up little by little by little. Um, but these really turned out nicely. And the bumper for the 64 Ford uh, really 
had the effect I was kind of going for. The bumper itself, as you see, is nice and got a good gloss. As much light as I've got in here, you'd think this would show up better, but um, it's got a really good finish to it. Um, and the grill, which was a little more semi-glossy, yielded that kind of aluminum polished aluminum look but it has a bit of chrome still to it so i think it looks really good look at the top of that bumper too man that is really really sharp but uh i'm liking this also i went back and did the tape test where you put a piece of tape on it and see if it'll come off and you see there's not even any residue stuck to it very nice and smooth um I'm kind of liking this so far, and I have buffed it a little bit. Now, they do say don't put any kind of uh, gloss over it or anything, or it can lose some of that. So I'm not going to do that, but honestly, I don't see the sense in, in even wanting to do that. But uh, a really, really good finish there. I have to go ahead and get some of the uh, brush on. I watched a tutorial on the brush on, and I think I'm going to really like it too. It had a great result as well. Um, again, it's greenstuffworld.com, and uh, as I understand it, you can also get their stuff on uh, eBay, and they do have PayPal there in Spain as well if you order it direct, but I'm going to be checking out some of their other colors too, especially the color shift, and uh, some of the candy colors look really good, like I did on the 32 Ford, the 64th scale, with the chrome body and then the all-clad um, uh, ruby transparent candy i'm gonna give give theirs a shot too and i'll be sharing that with you down the road but uh i'm really really impressed with this it went on beautifully it seems to be a really tough tough finish i know with some of the um like the buffing metalizers that testers had and uh and some of the all clad depending on how thick you put it on you can rub through the finish down to your base this, I have not been able to uh, affect it like that. And um, again, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. If you're not a subscriber, head on over there. Hit that subscription button, please. That really is the best way to help us out. Also, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. I love to hear from you guys. And ah, wow, isn't that something? Guys, I appreciate it again. God bless. I'll see you in the next video.